Hey guys, what's up? It's JP. Um, last night I was talking with the four of the Insider guys that we were on the chat, and uh, also Brad, which is, uh, I'll go ahead and consider this part of our collaboration project we got going on. But uh, basically, this is my uh, prototype for my ro uh, roto molding machine, which is uh, off the concept of a couple of different designs. Um, I'm actually working on the uh, pendulum right now. I don't know if I want to keep this design, but uh, the whole top design is going to stay. Um, it's basically uh, similar to some rotocasters. However, uh, I wanted to make a goal of making this uh, lowest cost as possible. That way I could explain to you guys how to make this thing. And uh, when I do... Uh, finish it and make a successful casting. I will break it down and tell you guys how to make it, but uh, I think I have $10 in it right now. So, um, I'll go ahead and show you the concept of it. Like, I, again, I said, uh, still in the mock up stage. Um, nothing's really tight. Uh, so, um, bear with me, but uh, I'll show you the principle of how it works. Uh, now bear in mind that once this is completed, it will be on a much lower pedestal, so you will be working it uh, from this uh, instead of like this. But uh, here's the basic concept. Um, you have a bearing assembly on each side, so you can turn your cast, which will give you 360 degrees. Uh, also, I have a hand crank on here, but I do plan on mounting a motor here. Um, but anyway, the concept is you can turn the casting, and then the whole thing tilts so you can get the back of the casting and the front of the casting um, one thing I don't have hooked up is I have a bungee cord that hooks here and here and it controls the uh, stiffness as you move it so it's a much more controlled pivot um, like I said still in the mock-up but uh, you know it works great um, and this way alleviates you having to put the uh, the rotary part up here and the two gears and stuff like that. It keeps you from having to order stuff online that you can't find locally. So uh, yeah, this is her right now, and uh, this is uh, probably about the third attempt. So I'm pretty much uh, happy with this design. I might end up changing the pendulum setup, making it lower profile. Haven't decided on that yet. Um, but uh, I'm pretty much safe to say it will be lower profile and will be more supportive. Uh, so I'm happy with it. Uh, let me know what you think and uh, stay tuned. Maybe we'll have a casting out this weekend. I don't know. But uh, yep, so far, looking good. Thanks.